good morning on pages of 7b. When you say happy birthday, how do you remember the right words? How does your body breathe when you are at sleep and how do you balance on your bicycle? These jobs are handled by the control center of our body known as the brain. The brain tells the body what to do. It tells your lungs to breathe, your muscles to move and your mouth to sing when the birthday cake comes to you. The brain is divided into three main sections, namely the forebrain, midbrain and the hindbrain. Forebrain is responsible for all the voluntary functions. Let and him together are responsible for all the involuntary functions. So, when I say voluntary, think about all the actions that you can do consciously by thinking about them. For example, talking to someone, listening to music, blah, blah, blah. And when I say involuntary, there are some functions that happen in your body which are not in control of you. For example, heartbeat, digestion, respiration, vomiting, and etc. Now, let's look at these parts in detail. Four brain contains cerebrum, thalamus, and the hypothalamus. Cerebrum is the largest part of the brain with wrinkles in its exterior surface. These wrinkles determine the intelligence of an individual. More wrinkles increase the brain surface area, which in turn leads to more intelligence. Compared to animals, we humans have a big cerebrum, so that only we can talk and do the mathematical problems that our dogs can't. The cerebrum is divided into two main hemispheres, namely the right and the left hemisphere. These two may look symmetrical, but both carry out different functions. The right hemisphere links to creativity, music or art and controls the left side of your body. Whereas the left hemisphere links to logic abilities, speech, math and controls the right side of your body. Each hemisphere of the cerebrum is divided into four main lobes, namely the frontal, temporal, occipital and the parietal lobe. Now let's look at their functions. The frontal lobe controls problem solving, decision making, emotional and behavioral control, speech production and etc. Some of the functions controlled by the parietal lobe are sensory information processing, spatial processing and manipulation. The major functions controlled by the occipital lobe are facial and objective recognition, facial data collection regarding color, motion and orientation. Temporal lobe controls many activities. Let's see some of them. It controls language comprehension, speech formation, learning, sound to visual image conversion and etc. So this is my model of the brain which explains the major parts and functions of the brain. So before seeing that, let's see how the body communicates with the brain. The brain receives messages from all parts of the body via the sensory neurons. Then the brain will process it and send messages to either muscles or glands in your body. So now let's take this situation as an example. You are feeling thirsty and you see a glass of water. Your eyes will send messages to your brain via the sensory neurons. Then the brain will process it and send output messages to your muscles in your hand in order to grab the glass of water. Thank you.